On June 7, 1998, James Byrd Jr. was lynched in a brutal and depraved way in the small town of Jasper, Texas. James Byrd was born on May 2, 1949 in Beaumont, Texas. He graduated high school in 1967 as part of the last segregated class in Jasper, Texas. He married in 1970 and had three children. He worked as a vacuum salesman around the area. His salary was low and he could not afford to own a car, so he was often seen around Jasper walking everywhere he went, often taking rides from strangers to make things easier. Little did James know that on June 7th, he would accept a ride that would cost him his life. Bird spent the day drinking with friends and family in Jasper across town from his apartment. As he was walking home that Saturday, three men, Sean Barry, Lawrence Brewer, and John King offered him a ride. Bird accepted the ride. The three men had been driving around Jasper in a pickup truck for much of the evening, drinking. Eyewitnesses reported seeing Bird riding in the bed of a gray pickup with the men in the cab between 2.30 and 2.45 a.m. Instead of taking Bird home, the men drove east out of Jasper and stopped in a remote area in the woods. Investigators believe that there was a fight because of upturned grass, disturbed dirt, and a broken beer bottle, which were consistent with signs of a struggle. Investigators also found items knocked out of the truck, likely due to the struggle. The men overpowered the 49-year-old Bird and beat him and sprayed his face with black spray paint. He was then chained by his ankles to the back of the pickup truck and dragged down a dirt road for over three miles. Investigators found Bird's personal items scattered along the dirt road. His body bounced into a ditch on the side of the road, hitting the ragged edge of a concrete roadside drainage ditch just below the right arm. The impact severed the arm, shoulder, neck, and head from the rest of the body, which continued to be dragged for another mile. The men then dumped Bird's mutilated remains in the town's segregated black cemetery and went to a barbecue. It is not known how long Bird was alive during the dragging. Forensic evidence suggests that Bird had been attempting to keep his head up, and the autopsy showed that Bird was alive for much of the dragging and died only after his head, shoulder, and right arm were severed when his body hit the ditch. The following morning, Bird's remains were found along with a nearby lighter that had one of the men's prison nicknames. Police quickly tied the three men to the lynching. Due to the racist tattoos the men had, the district attorney could categorize the murder as a hate crime. After news of this horrendous lynching spread publicly, many were outraged and demanded justice. Shortly after, a planned rally was scheduled to take place by the KKK to celebrate the lynching. In response, the New Black Panther Party, led by Khalid Muhammad, marched into Jasper to counter the Klan. It could be seen arming residents of Jasper. Many were worried that this clash could end in violence, but nothing would happen. The trials could go on. After three separate trials, all three men were found guilty of capital murder. Brewer and King were given the death penalty. Lawrence Brewer was executed on September 21, 2011. In his final statement, he expressed no remorse for his crime, saying he would do it again. John King was executed on April 24, 2019. Sean Barry continues to serve his life sentence. Three years later, Texas passed a hate crime law, and in 2009, Congress would pass the Matthew Shepard Act.